Volkswagen Golf Mark IV 1.9 TDI engine. This video will show you how to replace auxiliary belt, also known as alternator belt, serpentine belt, and also this car has horrible condition of the tensioner of that belt, so I'm going to replace the tensioner as well. So it will show you how to replace the belt, and if you need to replace tensioner, it will show you how to replace tensioner as well. This car has 1.9 TDI engine, so let's have a look what's going on in there. The auxiliary belt that spins your alternator, power steering and AC compressor is located over here. And what we are going to do now is jack up the car and remove all the covers. You don't really need to remove top cover for this job, but I'm going to do it anyway to give you a better view. To remove top cover, pry out these plastic bits, which will reveal 10 millimeter nuts, three of them. So with the old bolts out, let's take the dipstick out. Mind there is another clip holding to this pipe, so we can remove engine cover now. Let's put dipstick back in, so nothing gets in there. Auxiliary valve tensioner is located just over here. Is this boy here it's held to the bracket by three bolts we're gonna jack up the car remove the auxiliary belt and then remove the tensioner so I jack up the car don't use jack on its own definitely use stands because jack on its own is not safe as you can see I have two jack stands over there I've put them on a subframe this car appears to be missing under cover which will make my job easy. If you still have your undercover on, it's pretty simple to remove. There will be like a plastic cover with screws on the side, so remove those screws and remove the cover. And then you'll have to remove another cover over here where the belt is. This car is missing another cover as well, but it has got still similar cover on that side. This one here. But if your car is tidy and not missing any undercovers, remove undercover similar to this plastic protection on the other side. We don't have it on this car, so I'm gonna give you a better view what it's held on. Side cover, also known as a side skirt, is held by two funny looking nuts you see this is like a snowflake rusty one so um, to remove it you need to unscrew it use some pliers or anything that you can i'm not sure if there is a specific tool for that if you do know please comment but the way to remove it is just unscrew it and when you put it back you don't have to screw it on you just it pops on it goes like and then you just pop it on because this finger is pointing down now so you need to unscrew it unless you're really strong and you want to rip it off so there is another one just over here and there will and we'll have another sorry my shaking hands t25 uh, dogs so yeah one bolt two funny looking nuts if you can call them nuts and remove the side skirt so remove this plastic from that side. Now with all these covers removed, we have access to bottom assembly of our auxiliary belt, aka serpentine belt, and this is our AC compressor. And before we do anything, let's remove the belt. One more thing you need to know before you remove auxiliary belt. If you are going to refit the same belt, it is important that you fit it so it spins the same way uh, before removing mark the direction of the belt by the way if you're interested it's spinning clockwise so you can either put the arrow or there is a simple way what I normally do there's always some numbers letters on the belt 
so you can just simply remember which way they are facing in our case you can see these little numbers bottom goes away from the engine so remember it this way so we're gonna ref if we're gonna refit it we'll just fit it the same way to remove the belt we need to detension it and the easiest access to tensioner is from the bottom can you see this bolt this one here uh, it's like a nut or bolt um, it's neither of those it's the part of the tensioner it's the one complete piece of the tensioner it's um, in a shape of um, 16 millimeter nut there is not enough space for the ratchet so what you want to do is take 16 millimeter spanner and put it on the top of it it is pretty strong so it might use some extension I think I can do it without the extension so you want to turn it clockwise and as you can see the belt tension is has decreased so you can remove the belt and then slowly release this tensioner the belt is off now so let's go back to the top and take the belt of the remaining pulley which is a power steering pump so you can just take the belt off now So here it is, your belt. This belt is in a good condition, so I'm going to refit the same belt. To fit new belt, there's a link below the video that leads to my website. You'll get some images, diagrams. Um, I've got the diagram how to fit the belt around all pulleys and rollers. So let's go back to that tensioner take 13 millimeter socket and remove those three bolts I showed you before once you break them loose you can finish by hand these are bolts so with the third bolt out which is longer than other two one is longer you can take your tensioner out. So let's take it down from the bottom. There you go. This is your tensioner. So this is what it looks like. Help on the bolts roller with the um, spring some golfs might have different tensioners you might not have this bit if the spring will be inside it so it will be just a wheel with this bit and also holes for three bolts so whichever tensioner you have just make sure when you are replacing it you're replacing it with exactly the same but the idea is the same it's just a wheel that creates tension to your auxiliary belt to me this wheel doesn't sound very good i think the bearing is not so great also it has a dent on this side so i'm gonna replace this wheel you don't have to replace the whole tensioner you can replace the wheel itself you see there is a torx here so what we are going to do we'll take T30 Torx screwdriver ratchet now we're gonna go and find new bearing for the extensioner So here we are sometime later, what I can say, after looking around, searching around, I found that um, it's difficult to find bearing wheel itself. Dealership don't sell it, dealership sell the whole unit. 
different part, part car part sellers also don't sell just this wheel. I didn't want to look on a scrapyard because you never know it can be even worse than this. So I ended up buying a new unit. New is new, so we are going to fit the new tensioner. Before fitting anything, always compare that it's the same. This one is bearing is off, that's why it looks a bit different. Also, it looks like it's a different angle because new one comes with a pin in. So what we're gonna going to do? We're gonna fit the new tensioner, fit the belt around, and then take the pin out. It will be easier to fit the fit the belt with the pin in because there will be no tension and then we will take the, take the pin out and slowly release the tension what are we going to do now is insert this unit from the bottom of the car and then in come back to the top and put the bolts in it doesn't fit from the top it just not not enough space so we're gonna put it from the bottom and when you're going under the car make sure you wear your glasses to protect your eyes so we take our new tensioner and slide it here between the crankshaft vibration damper and the AC compressor. Slide it in. And we leave it there and then come from the top and insert bolts. And from the top, now we can wiggle this tensioner. I start with the longer bolt. Start it with your hands. You can use some WD-40. And then insert other two bolts. Same way. By hand. And another one. And then you take your wrench and tighten those bolts up. If you have torque wrench, like I do, the tightening torque for those bolts is 25 Newton meters. With all three bolts now tightened to 25 newton meters, it's time to fit our belt. Unfortunately, I can't show you in this video the position of the belt around all pulleys, but there is a link below this video which will lead to description of what we have done today, images, also diagram of the position of the tensioner belt. So. Remember, if you're refitting, we're going to fit it the same way. These letters, they were going away from the engine, so we're going to fit it the same way, so it spins the same direction. It's a good condition bell, so I'm not going to bother to fit a new one. And put it around all pulleys as it goes. I'm going to put it around the top pulley, which is a power steering pump. Put it straight. So it sit nicely, sits nicely inside and then finish at the bottom. Simply see the diagram. As you can see with the pin in the tensioner, there is no tension in the belt, so final touch. Before you release tension, make sure belt sits in all pulleys nice and straight, not hanging out anywhere. If you don't have a pin or you just replaced the um, belt, and you didn't need to replace tensioner, then uh, apply do it the same way as we take the belt off. Apply the 16 millimeter spanner to decrease tension, fit the belt around, and then slowly release it. Apply 16 millimeter spanner facing towards the ground because once you release it, it's gonna go that way. Remember the spring is quite strong, so make sure either you use extension, 
just be careful with your fingers and just apply spanner and apply some pressure to take the pin out oh my god it's strong I'm gonna use extension this time in the form of another spanner so apply enough pressure to take the pin out there it is and then slowly release double check triple check that all uh, ev about everywhere sits straight and with extension it's quite easy it's not so strong so I recommend use extension and then we can take pin out completely now remove all spawners there we go your belt is changed now so all you got to do now is put the covers on and that's it your belt is, belt is done more stuff about this car some other cars see my website wilsonmotors.com